Hey uh, so my name is Vincent Kings. I'm the illustrator for Winter, written by Guy Hassan. He gave me the job based on my work on Weight of the World, which is a personal story that I'm working on. Um, but we may not have realized, and might not even know until this video, I, I don't know, I didn't want to bring it up, is that I had never actually digitally painted before. Um, I mean, I'd done the, the, like one or two things, and I'd used Photoshop for flat coloring before, so it's not like I was unfamiliar with the program, but the look that he wanted was something I'd never attempted and I enthusiastically agreed despite not knowing what I was doing because I just loved the existing style. As soon as I got the job I just booked it across the street to my neighbor Larry uh, who was an older guy and a local artist and I said hey Larry I'm working on a comic page that features the introduction of a new character who's an older guy and you're an older guy so could you be my older guy and he was like sure thing Vincent and so I took a bunch of reference photos of him brought him into Photoshop um, worked off them as reference to how I do everything. And then I just kept going now hard on work on issue 5. Uh, you're gonna see today a sped up version of the paint portion of page 8 I believe. The actual page I think I timed it out it took like 10-ish hours to see what you're gonna see um, in a matter of like minutes. So enjoy. First step is flatting which is definitely the most boring part for me to do and for you to watch. So I'm going to skip through as quick as I can, but basically it just involves grabbing the lasso tool and uh, selecting all the areas that I'm going to paint in. Uh, so once it comes time to paint, I then grab part of a previous page, crystallize it to average out the colors, and then color pick from it so that I can keep color consistency. You also see that I turn down the opacity of the lines, and then I just start painting in. Uh, I also have reference photos behind everything. Uh, this is the part that is a little awkward for you to see behind the curtain on, but yeah, every single shot has a photo reference for it, uh, and since I don't have any access to the people that the previous artist was using to base his characters on, I just end up modeling for everybody and then altering them slightly. So in this case, and in every instance that Liz Winter appears in the book, it's me drawing breasts onto myself and yeah. If you ever get into my iPhoto library, you have tons of blackmail on me, just saying. There we go, yeah, that was me being punched. What I'm working on right now is holographic Liz. Um, without giving too much away of the story, this is a sequence where there are two holographic versions of Liz Winter, and for those, I paint onto black. Uh, it's gonna be a sort of like a special effect that you see later. Um, it looks kind of weird right now, but trust me, it'll, it'll look good. I'm using the most basic number 63 Photoshop brush that comes with the program, and the soft round brush whenever I need a little softer touch, and that's really it. I'm also working on a Wacom bamboo tablet, which is pretty low on the hierarchy of tablets. It's not one of those ones where you can draw right on the screen. I like that it's pretty portable and that I'm not worried about breaking it, but there are nicer tablets out there if that is something you're worried about. Now, the other guy in here is actually my brother, who, you know, he, he totally was very different from me. We're half Mexican and half white, and he just got the half white side a lot more than I did. I intentionally don't touch any of the colors of the photo. I use it to inform the darks and lights, but I, I make sure to make color choices that are independent of it, especially because I'm trying to make a sort of heightened reality that's very exciting and just more pleasing than photo colors would be. Okay, so right here is what I've been planning all along for the holographic lizards. I turn their opacity setting to lighten, so the pure black that they're on is gonna allow the background to be seen through them and you'll have this kind of cool computery effect. Alright, and then I go ahead and sort of alter in little parts that I might want to stay a little darker, and then I go in and add sort of the shine to them so they have a good computery digital glow. There we go, that looks pretty, right? Alright, what I do to add some grit to the background is I grab paintings from my painting library. In this case, they're all from JMW Turner, who's an absolute hero of mine. Uh, he sort of invented Impressionism before Impressionism was a thing. It's really textural, it's really great for supplementing the overly digital look that some stuff can get. One of the fun things about all these digital effects on this page is that I can sort of break and warp things, and you see me doing that right now. 
where to really sell the impact of that punch, I'm sort of breaking the hologram of Liz in a hopefully kind of digital staticky look. And then I also grab horizontal bars from Google and then sort of warp them as needed and then adjust the opacity on them to overlay and mask them to the gloves so that it feels sort of like the gloves are hopefully emerging from some kind of static or something. I don't know, it, it looks cool. Okay, here's a little bit shameful. I'm using a photo for the background on the first panel. It's a hotel room. I just grabbed a random hotel room off the internet, go in and change some stuff, try to not make it too obvious. Of course, it's obvious now that you get to see it, but what I try to stay away from is too much of a pixelated or, yeah, you know, there's just an awkwardness that comes from photos and I try very hard to avoid it. So now we're on the home stretch. I grab some water ripples from Google, throw them on the door just so I have a nice warping effect. And then just for some noise in the other backgrounds, I grab some photos from my own personal photo library. In this case, they happen to be from a friend's lab at Berkeley. So there you go, ta-da, it's done. It looks pretty good, I have a few more things to noodle with, but by and large, that's that's the page. You know, it's gonna have uh, lettering and everything, but yeah, boom. And feel free to hit me up on any of my social media accounts if you have any questions, complaints, or to hell, maybe some tips on what I'm doing wrong. I don't know, I'll take anything. Thanks.